What's up guys, it's Abby and today I'm going to be doing a Christmas tag. I don't know what Christmas tag it is, but I'm doing it. And I'm also in a different part of my room and I have aesthetically pleasing lights behind my bed. I'm sitting on my bed. This is not hot cocoa or anything normal. Oh my god, there's a phone! I forgot to put on the hat. I'm wearing the hat now. Everything's fine. Now I have to log into my phone. That was Jessica. Anyway, this, what I have in my hand, not hot cocoa or tea, you would think. It's eggnog. So, some ways it's better. Let's get started with the tag. First question, what is your favorite Christmas movie? And I don't really know what my favorite Christmas movie is. Mine's probably The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. And I know for a fact that it's Jessica's favorite movie as well. So that's my favorite movie, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. The next question is, have you ever had a white Christmas? <laughs> and... And I have many white, many a white Christmases because I now live in Newfoundland and I lived in Canada for six years. So I currently have a white Christmas. But last year we did have a green Christmas until like the end of the day when it finally decided to snow. So yes, I've had a white Christmas. Many a white Christmas. Third question is where do I usually spend my holidays? I spend my holidays at my mom's but when I lived in Toronto, like every holiday I spent... I spent every Christmas holiday and every other weekend I spent with my dad. So up until I moved here, I always spent it with my dad, but now I'm spending it with my mom. Question four, what is your favorite Christmas song? Um, I think it's like, um, I'm trying to remember the exact name. It's, it's like a rock and roll version of a Christmas song. I don't remember the name. If I remember it, I will put it in because I used to sing it all the time because my dad really likes rock and roll and my grandmother also does. So we would always listen to it. And it's probably not even rock and roll, but it was more upbeat than the other song, so I'll try and remember. Um, question five is, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Um, we did do it before, but when we went one year over to our grandmother's, my grandmother would always let us open one gift on Christmas Eve. We didn't know which it was, so we just opened a random gift on Christmas Eve. We usually didn't open the big ones because we wanted to save them for Christmas. But now that we are actually here, we have started opening one gift on Christmas Eve, and then the rest we get up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. Fun story, quick story. Me and my sister, at like maybe 4 in the morning, woke up one day on Christmas, and we were all at my dad's, and we were at our aunt's, so like all the family was at our aunt's. And we woke everyone up at like 4 in the morning to open their gifts. And we weren't even really young. We were like, I, this is probably like only a couple years ago, so we weren't even that young. We just wanted to open our gifts fast. Next question is, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? I know there's Dasher, Donner, Blitzen, Connor, Cupid. I know there's Rudolph. <laughs> so, no. I did, I, I'm pretty sure there's 12 reindeer. And I can only list off six. Hey, I got half of them! I don't even know if some of them are. I know Rudolph's, right? So. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most, looking forward to this year? I don't really have any holiday tradition, to, 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 traditions besides opening one gift on Christmas Eve. Like, we don't really have anything that we do. Well, the night before Christmas, we usually just get together and like talk with my mom and my sister because that's all we have, and we like get the we let the an we get our animals gifts, so we just like kind of talk and pet the animals. So I guess that's Christmas tradition. So I like that. Question eight: Is this your, is your Christmas tree real or fake? I I'm pretty sure. Th okay, I'm just gonna talk about my mom's right now because I don't even. I think there was sometimes where at my dad's it was real. I think most of the time my dad has a real tree. But there was one year, only one year, my mom got a real tree, and that's when we first had the cats. It's, what, it's actually the first time we had Maggie and Savior, and it was their first Christmas. And the one time my mom got a real tree, we had cats. So it didn't really end well, so we normally have fake trees. What is your all-time favorite holiday food slash sweet treat? I like eggnog. Does that count? Because, um... Not really. I like, uh, I like eggnog. Eggnog. Be honest, do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? In all honesty, it's like... The only thing that bugs me about giving gifts is I don't know if the person will like it. Like me, Jesse, and two of my other friends are doing Secret Santa, and the person I got, I'm like... I don't know if they will like the gift I got them, so I'm like kind of freaking out. 
And half the time, the only thing is, I can't really get clothes when I get gifts because I'm too tall and people don't know what clothes I need. So I usually end up having, they just give me money and I usually end up having to get it otherwise. So I honestly don't know which one I like better. Question 11 is, what is the best Christmas gift you received? Um, I'm looking around my room to see if I have anything. Uh, oh, I remember. Okay, so in case you guys didn't already know this, I have, I'm just less dyslexic, so I could not read at all until grade five. And so the first books I ever read were Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and to this day I still like read the books because I have like a connection. And I remember reading the first book of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and I liked it. And my mom was so proud that I was actually reading and everything, so she bought me like the whole box set of what books they have at that time. I don't even know where it is right now. I think I still have it. It's probably in the garage. And I have like, that was just like the best gift because I was actually reading books for the first time. Question 12. What would your dream place be to visit for the holiday season? Um, I know to, I'm not, I want to say Toronto because I'm used to all the lights and the big city and like having all the Toronto colors and everything and even London. So probably a big city. I want to go to New York. New York is one of the places I would want to go if I could because of all the lights and everything and that would just be so cool. 13. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? I'm kind of a pro. Like I don't normally mess it up and it's easy for me to do it for some reason. So I'm a pro at paper wrapping gifts. <laughs> that made no sense. Number 14. Your best holiday moments. Um, again it's probably the time where we got everyone in my aunt's house to get up at like four in the morning and then I really like the fact because my dad we have three dogs at my dad's in case you guys didn't know that and so cute little photos here and basically they open their own presents so they were like opening their own presents and like eating the wrapper and everything so it was just cool would you stop please oh my gosh my own dog is annoying you're something I'm not answering question 15 because I don't know the age of my subscribers but if you do want to do it, the question was, what made you realize the truth about Santa? I am not going to say anything because I have younger viewers, I think. I don't know the age of my viewers, so I'm not saying anything. Just skip to question 16. I'm not saying anything for that question. Viewer Santa is real. Question 16. Do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? I think when I was younger, every teacher was, like wrote, made you write New Year's resolutions. I never stick to my New Year's resolutions. I don't, I don't even write them anymore. It's a holiday special for you. Um, normally, when uh, it's the holidays, we go up to Corner Brook and the drive there, to, for those of you who don't live in Newfoundland, the drive there, like all the rocks that are up, they're like full of ice. And me and my mom and my sister actually came to Newfoundland on New Year's on New Year's Day. So that's like every day, every year that it comes around, we're like, oh, we've been here for like three years, four years, we're going to start going to live here for five years. And just going through that and seeing all the ice on the rocks, it's just really cool because that's how we came to Newfoundland, having all the ice on the rocks and everything. And I just like the fact that me and my family, for some reason, like get together more. And on my dad's side, if we were at my dad, like the whole family would gather in one place and we'd all celebrate Christmas together. And I just love that. So that is it for my Christmas book tag. I will put all the questions in the description below in case you guys didn't hear me properly or you guys want to do it yourself. You could say that I tagged you. I was tagged by no one to do this. I just wanted to do this because I'm in the Christmassy spirit. And yeah, all my links will be in the description below. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. And that is it for this video. Merry Christmas, everyone. Hope you guys have a happy holiday. Tell me how your holiday is going and what you like, what's your favorite part about Christmas and the Christmas spirit. And yeah, that is it for this video. So, bye. I haven't done this in a while. We miss you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. You don't really care, do you? Oh, no, you don't. Mwah, I love you. Yeah, go away. Number fourteen, most memorable, memorable, memorable. Number fourteen, most memorable holiday moment. S still said that wrong. Number fourteen, most memorable, memorable. I can't.